Hi, my name is Colin Kilbane, and I'm going to show you how to make a Diet Coke and Mentos bomb or soda fountain. Now, Diet Coke works better than other sodas for a couple reasons. The particular mix of flavorings and artificial sweeteners they have in here makes a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, and they, car they compensate for that by putting more carbonation in Diet Coke than other, other comparable colas or other soft drinks. And that's important here, the carbonation is important. Carbonation is merely dissolved carbon dioxide gas. And when you pull it out, when you open it up, you can hear it escaping, and the soda bubbles. Now, the bubbles will come out at a very slow rate. You'll, you know, if you want your soda completely flat, you might have to leave it open for well over, you know, many hours. That's because bubbles take a finite amount of energy to form. A bubble is an organized structure, and it takes a little bit of energy for this bubble to form. Now, one way to give it more energy, to form more bubbles, is to shake the soda. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to lower the energy needed to make the bubble, and that's what you do with a mento. Sugar is a crystal. And each crystal has edges. This is a cubic crystal. Sugar is a cubic crystal, so it has 12 edges. And those edges reduce the energy needed to form a bubble. They basically allow a bubble to nucleate. I have an old cap from an old 2 liter here, and I've drilled about a quarter inch hole in the cap. Don't need to be precise here. And then all I've got is a piece of wire. And I've twisted a loop at the end for my finger to pull on the wire. Put the cap on, put, I have knocked a hole in the Mentos here. Thread the Mentos on the wire, on the bottom, bend the wire down to hold the Mentos on. Now, because here's what we're going to do. You're going to take the cap off the bottle slowly, wait for the foam to go down, then we're going to put this cap on top. We go find an area, outdoors, don't do this indoors because this thing can shoot up a good 40 feet. I made that mistake once. We're going to put the cap on, and then all you need to do is hold the bottle, and we're going to pull the wire, and the Mentos drop off into the soda. At that point, you're going to want to run, because this thing can get very messy very fast. Now that's my homemade solution. You actually can get a really nifty launcher here, a really nifty trigger from Steve Spangler Science called a geyser tube. And this is beneficial. You can only stick about five Mentos between the top of the cap and the top of the liquid. You don't want the Mentos touching the liquid inside the soda because it will start the reaction before you're ready. But with this one, you can get many more Mentos in. It just screws on the top and you drop the Mentos in, put the cap on, and then in order to launch it, you just pull the pin. Mentos drop into the soda. This piece here drops over the holes where the pin went through to seal it off, and you get a very nice reaction there. And that's a little bit cooler because you have a lot more Mentos. So let's go outside and we'll try to shoot off a little bit of Diet Coke here in a soda fountain or a Diet Coke and Mentos bomb. All right, let's go. All right, five, four, three, two, one. And that is a Diet Coke and Mentos bomb.